So we are here at the um, Singapore Moto Show. Alright, so the COE I think just dropped a bit, right? So let's go and take a look at what car there is on offer right now. I believe there will be lots of EV cars uh, on display here. Alright, so um, yeah, let's go and check out and see what models is worth looking out for if you are intending to purchase a new car. Alright, let's go. Annyeong Haseyo. Okay, it feels like I'm in uh, Korea right now because of all these car models. Uh, so if you can see, basically this is the Hyundai. And one very popular car in Korea right now is this Ionic 6. Um, just from the look of it, you know that this is a very unique looking uh, futuristic car. All right. Um, but if you're looking for something more within your budget, uh, I mean, if you are not too into EV cars, uh, you can consider this Avante Hybrid Elite, which actually just relaunched, um, I mean, recently. Okay, I mean, everybody knows this car as the Avante um, gasoline version, but now, right now, they have a hybrid version. Okay, uh, similarly, very uh, good looking. Okay, and then uh, another recently launched car is this Kona, Kona Hybrid. Okay, if you are looking for like an SUV, um, you will notice that design language is very similar. You know, you get the all front LED lights over here. Okay, this is basically an SUV. Okay, let's take a look inside. In fact, you ask me if you ask me to buy a car right now, uh, perhaps this might be one of the models I'm looking at. Um, so as I see, the chair is actually moving. Actually quite spacious here. I like Hyundai's uh, dashboard display. Very simple, slim. Um, yeah, very nice. Okay. Yeah, so this is the Kona Hybrid. <sighs> And if you haven't heard the news, all right, this is Singapore's first uh, manufactured car, all right, which is the Hyundai Ionic 5. Okay, uh, this car is made in Singapore, all right, so we can be very proud of that. All right, I personally taken this car in Korea before while well, I flag for a, for a taxi. Okay, so um, yeah, this car is very comfortable. I mean, uh, in fact, quite uh, spacious and big looking. Okay, if you like white, the interior is all white. Uh, take a look, the L, the braking lights. And then it's charging, providing a battery to all these other stuff. Okay, handles is also special. Okay, so this is how you open the door. So yeah, everything is white in here. Um, you know, dashboard is also white. Everything is really white. Let's take a seat and see how it feels. <laughs> it's okay. So as you can see, these things actually are uh, movable. You can shift. Uh, everything feels very spacious right here. Right, very bright car, I would say. Yeah, in fact, I feel very uh, comfortable right now. Okay. This is another corner. And now let's take a look at this Ionic 6. Okay, so this uh, feels shorter definitely, um, but 
In fact, I like the interior more than the Ionic 5. Um, of course, this is a newer model, you know. But I like the Ionic 5 space, in fact. Okay, the Ionic 5 uh, feels more spacious. Yeah, but then again, wow. Hyundai cars are really remarkable. Very beautiful car. This is the Avante Hybrid. Um, okay. The car is very short as compared to the other newer models. Um, but it's very driver centric. I like that the controls are tilted towards you. Uh, everything is within reach. Wow. Okay, so if you are not ready to switch to EV yet, uh, this is the car you can you know, consider. I want the hybrid. All right. I'm right now at Kia, another um, popular Korean brand. Um, totally feels as if I'm in Korea just by a look of all these beautiful cars. Um, yeah, just um, last year I went to Korea and in fact sat in this beautiful car before. This is the EV6, a very popular car which wowed the world when they just released the images um, I mean for the looks of it it's just beautiful very handsome okay um, yeah, just take a look nice okay but this is something very new this is the EV9 okay EV9 um, let's take a look at what they have You can see that uh, Kia is very popular. You know, everybody is like just checking out the cars. Wow, actually this car is massive. Well, actually it feels quite comfortable. I mean, the interior is very futuristic as well. Um, now you no longer have the side, normal side mirrors, you have these electronic side mirrors, which is, yeah, beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Isn't this car just massive? All right. So for something more um, common to our Singapore grounds will be this uh, Kia Niro. I mean, you have seen this moving around Singapore streets. Okay. Um, well, in fact, um, I mean, if those cars look too futuristic for you, this is in fact very beautiful as well. Let's take a look at the dashboard. In fact, I'm loving Kia's and Hyundai's, um, you know, signal sound. I don't know, something that is spoke to me recently. Right, very nice. I'm with, well, Kia, do you want me want to sponsor me some some cars? <laughs> wow, the Carnival now comes in hybrid version. Again, this is another car I set while I was in Korea about, of course, the petrol version. So this is a competitor to, you know, Toyota's Alphard. All right, uh, S, uh, what I say, MPV vehicle. Uh, but then this, this vehicle is, in fact, massive. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, in fact, Everything looks big here. Okay, the display is beautiful. Okay, when you signal, you know, the mirror switches around. Wow, beautiful. I think for Korean, we have covered all of them already, all right? So now let's skip to um, Konichiwa Toyota. 
Hi. Okay. So for Toyota, what they have? Um, I think if you are looking into something in the more more fuel efficient, right? Um, what Toyota has to offer will be this uh, Toyota Prius. Okay, but. Drivers of Prius will have to take note that, I mean, you can't mind that you will be seeing these cars a lot on the road. Okay, because uh, many Prius are being used for PHV, uh, something you can't avoid. Okay, um, so this new Prius actually looks very um, sporty. Very sporty car. Um, I think this particular unit has been made very low. Okay, so interior also looks uh, very different from the old previous generation Prius. This is the new design by Toyota. Okay, um, yeah, actually feels not bad. Uh, everything comes towards you. Yeah, when you are sitting in this car but I actually feel that this new model is in fact more cramped as compared to the previous generation let's take a look at what other models do I have to offer um, okay so over here we have the Yaris Cross um, in fact, personally, I won't buy this Yaris Cross because there's already a new version out there. Okay, I already launched in Thailand. All right, so this is not for me. In fact, I prefer the newer design. All right, next we have this new Toyota Sienta. Uh, if you have a family, I think this is, this is a car that you'll be looking at. You know, uh, something more spacious. Um, yeah, very basic. Uh, it's more of a utility vehicle to say. Alright, see a lot of cup holders around. Sliding doors, and then chairs can be, you know, tilt down and so on. Yeah, so. What else do we have? Okay, this is the Corolla Cross. A Corolla, higher version of Corolla Altis. Okay, and then this is the Corolla Altis. I mean, this car needs no further introduction. The best-selling car in for many years. All right, Toyota Camry, a new version is coming out, and this is the brand new Alpha. Uh, very, I mean, a limousine, very beautiful limousine. Uh, this is my 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 dream is to own the Alpha. All right, me sitting here with um, you know with my driver driving me around in I mean Bangkok or Singapore and I must give it to Toyota for their very comfortable seats okay Toyota seats are always very comfortable okay but personally I don't really you know like driving Alpha because of the massive size but mm, okay I tried the previous generation Alpha before um, this in fact feels more comfortable and nice as well. And this is the new Harrier. Okay, uh, another very popular model for Singapore. Okay, so this is from Toyota. Okay, uh, you don't see many EVs offering by Toyota but um, we have something sporty all right right here okay this is the Toyota GR86 now at Lexus another um, luxury brand by Toyota what they have on offer is all these hybrid models we have the RX Hybrid, NX Hybrid, and the ES Hybrid. Um, all these models have been around for a while, so 
I mean, that explains the familiarity of the designs. Okay, but if you are looking for a very brand new look models, okay, there you have it. The RZ Lexus Plus 100 BEV series. Okay, let's take a look at the car. This car is fully electric. Okay, but if this car is too big for you, they have another model called LBX. Okay, this model looks cute. Okay, this is a very cute model. I think this will be well loved by females. I mean, uh, a very compact car, everything is nice and neat, close to you. Feels cozy, I would say. Oh, now I have. Okay, so this is unique. Okay, how to open, I initially couldn't find. So, apparently, you just have to press and you can open the door. Just now, after seeing the Toyota Alpha, okay, I saw something even better. Okay, this is the Lexus LM. Okay, the Lexus LM is basically a class above the Alpha. Alright. Let's take a look at the seats. Wow. Everything in fact looks very premium. Uh, just now I just now I mentioned that my dream is to have an Alpha with a driver in front, right? But I think after sitting this car. Um, my target changed to a Lexus LM. Right. I mean, everything here just feels uh, luxurious. From the attention of details as compared to the Alpha, it's like totally, you know, next level. Okay, the design is also totally different from the Toyota Alpha. Okay. So this is also soft closing. Just take a look. Wow. This is the Subaru WRX. Uh, we actually just went for the stunt show just now. This is really... <laughs> and this is the WRX that was actually featured at uh, the stunt show just now.
This is a familiar car to me because I have driven it before in Khao Yai uh, in Thailand. Uh, so I actually rented this car to drive from Bangkok to Khao Yai. And it was uh, in fact a very good drive. Uh, I love the drive of it. Just that the boot is very small, I can't even fit my luggage, all right? Uh, but yeah, Singapore is bringing in this car. All right, very cute looking car. I think uh, females will love it, all right? from the Aura Good Cat, right here we have the Aura 07 Electric uh, basically a much bigger version of the Aura Good Cat Alright, let's take a look at the inside of the car Okay, uh, similarly this is a very futuristic handle Okay, where you can open and just a uh, look inside, everything looks very plush and expensive Okay Okay, so you have a separate uh, display unit and then uh, something very interesting is this um, you know, control panels which is right here I think very specifically tailored for the driver Alright, uh, sunroof Okay, uh, behind it looks not bad, quite spacious Okay, so this car is in fact interesting um, I mean if you like the Aura Good Cat, you want something bigger then this is it. Konnichiwa. Okay, I'm right in front of Nissan. All right, this is, I mean, from my language, you know that this is a Japanese brand. All right, so right here we have this Nissan Serena E Power. And this is the face lifted uh, version. Uh, right here in both uh, black and white. Um, from the first look at it, um, I think the front wheels seem to be a little more simpler as compared to the previous generation. Alright, uh, interior looks futuristic as well uh, with these dual panels, LCD panels, um, no sunroof. Let's take a look how it sits. Alright, not bad. Okay, a uh, very spacious car for family. Alright, if you are looking for something uh, towards the EV side of things, then uh, it, it has to be this Nissan Ariya. Okay, zero emission. Alright, so just now I mentioned that the dashboard of Serena looks futuristic. I think, okay, after seeing this, this one looks better. All right. Very spacious car. And looks beautiful as well. Very sleek looking. Um, this is a cash car. Also the new version, the new facelifted model. Actually, I don't think this is facelifted. This is a brand new model. Um, yep. I mean, the design language is similar across all Nissan cars and this is uh, one of Singapore's most popular SUV in the market all right sleek leather seats okay what else uh, if you are looking for something smaller, this is the Nissan Kicks E Power. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Oh, in fact, I like this color combination a bit uh, dark, vibrant. Yeah, this is a very compact car. But if you want something bigger, then uh, let's take a look at this X Trail. This is a bigger version as compared to the Kicks e-power interior also looks similar um, the dash also looks nice yeah this is what we have you know for um, Nissan their e-power range nice Ok, 
Okay, now the brand that most of us are familiar with, all right, Honda. Okay, let's take a look at what they have. Um, of course, the ever popular Honda Civic. Um, not available in any EV version. Okay, and what else we have? All new Creed. I mean, we see all these cars. Uh, very familiar, right? Because, I mean, they are used mainly for uh, PHV purposes. Okay. Wow, I love the new car smell. Okay, um, I think one model worth mentioning is this uh, brand new CRV, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is the new CRV, uh, five seater, basically an SUV vehicle. Uh, in, in the past, this used to be one of a uh, very popular model in Singapore, but um, I think as time goes by, the popularity decreased. Right, but this time around, they are bringing back this model. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, over here it still looks. I mean, uh, looks similar to current models. Okay, and then the nice display screen over here with wireless charging. All right, height wise also just nice, not too high, not too short. Okay, in terms of design, still quite conservative, I would say. Okay, and this is the new Honda City. Oh, in fact, I'm going to. Chiang Mai next week. I actually rented this car um, to drive. Okay, I mean, this is a very basic car, nothing fancy. You know, very similar to what everybody is familiar with. And something new is uh, this all new Jazz EHEV. Uh, basically a hybrid car. Okay, this is a Lux version. So even the dashboard looks a little different. Okay, I mean Jazz is known for its uh, versatility. You can you know pull down the seats all the way. Yeah, so. Honda HRV. Okay, this is a HRV model. And also the step wagon. Okay, very spacious car. Yeah. Luxury cars, all right. One of my favorite luxury brands is a uh, Mercedes. Ah, take a look at this car behind me, the Mercedes EQG. All right. We have the EQE SUV. So basically, the E class SUV electric version. Let's take a seat. Cannot buy, cannot afford. Take a seat first. <laughs> wow, Mercedes is really next level comfort. Um, all right, the dashboard is a little different. I mean, responsive. Okay, you have Google Maps. Um, wireless charging. All right, cool. <laughs> In fact, this car is very spacious, right, just nice. And if you are not into the SUV version, they have the EQE, which is the sedan version. Alright, sedan version, of course, in terms of the height, is shorter. Okay, seating-wise, in fact, feels similar to the SUV, just the difference in terms of the height. BMW i5, 5 electric. Okay, 
Okay, let's take a look at the interior of the car. Wow, very lowly seated. Um, right. In fact, this um, dashboard looks very futuristic, very nice, very beautiful. You know, everything is within your control, but then again, there's not much buttons here. Uh, fortunately, there are some tactile buttons right over here. All right. Um, but yeah, this is a 5 Series, so not very patient, but good enough. Right here, they have the new X1 and X2. So as you can see, a lot of people in this uh, showroom. Okay, so don't disturb them. Uh, don't want to affect a salesperson doing their job. I think a lot of interested buyers here. You do see quite a bit of these models on the road already. Uh, this is the new iX. Let's take a look. Nice interior. Um, oh, I like this model of BMW because usually BMW in the middle seems a bit cramped, but over here, this is very spacious. You have no blockage on your knees. So this whole thing feels very good. Ah, feels like I'm driving the car. Ooh. The iX. The chair is also very comfortable. What is this? Alright, this is the new mini concept Ace Man. Uh, this car is not for sale. Okay, but uh, I mean, oh, I love this color Royal Racing Green. There are so many cars here. You can see the basic usual brands that you're familiar with. Uh, but then, there's also something uh, new to Singapore, which is this brand called Omoda. In fact, this is uh, by Sherry, a China brand. C-H-E-R-Y. Uh, right here, you are looking at this uh, new Omoda E5. Basically, a new EV car. All right, let's take a look at the interior. So as you enter the car, it's quite... Uh, let's take a seat. So this um, dashboard is very modern looking. I mean, you have dual screens with, I suppose, CarPlay, AirPlay, Okay, uh, controls wise, minimal. I mean, over here can choose the different mode. All right. So, yeah, actually quite cool. I mean, the height is just nice. Um, getting off in and out of the car is very easy. Isn't too short or isn't too high. Um, and then this is the back seat. Um, okay, I just realized about this. Uh, no. Sunroof. Space wise actually not very spacious at the back at the back at the back. Okay, but well good enough. Yeah, I think it's for Singaporeans. They love um this automated tailgate, All right? So it's a good addition to have. Ah, nice. A Mazda. All right, so if you are looking for electric 
car from Mazda. Check out this Mazda MX-30. Alright, uh, I believe this is the only uh, EV model right here on display. Okay, in terms of design language, um, I mean the new design doesn't feel anything like Mazda. Okay, this door is quite interesting. Alright, um, let's check out the car. Okay, so uh, internally, um, I mean it's quite similar to as per all Mazda's. It's simple dashboard. Uh, how do we operate this door? Interesting. Oh, I got no idea how to operate this door. But well, is it this? And then over here we have what a bus. Da 3, a very popular car on the road. Um, seems like they have a massive price drop. So if you're interested in uh, Mazda cars, you can come check, check them out. Not for sale, already sold out. And this the Mazda CX-5 as well as the Mazda CX-60. Okay, this is the luxury car. Take a look. How does a Mazda luxury car feel like? Alright, I love the soft touch details. Right, that is from Mazda. Another up and coming EV brand, the MG um, Cars. Right, uh, I guess we have all seen this MG ZS EV. Quite common on the roads already, okay, but this is something new. Um, this is the EV MG4, okay, EV MG4. Okay, if you in fact you didn't know, uh, MG is was actually a British brand, uh, but uh, a ch China company bought over them. All right, so it's now considered a Chinese brand. Okay, but I believe the spirit of the brand still stays true to the origin. Okay, so this is a MG4 EV car. All right. And this is their new sports car, MG Cyber Steer. Also not for sale. And then they even have a you know seven seater called M9. Alright, M9. I suppose this is you know to fight against the Toyota Alpha. And just take a look at the seats. Wow. Just try the seat. You see how comfy it is. Alright, so the the interior is quite simple. Uh, as compared with the other brands so you are looking for something more simple but big spacious and this could be could be your option one of Audi another luxurious brand popular in Singapore let's go and check out what they have to offer uh, but from what I think is like the usual brands that we are familiar with like the A6, A5, Q5 Alright, um, as you can see Let's go deeper in to see if there is any newer model I believe this is new Alright 
which is the Q4 Sportback e-tron. Okay, but the rest are, in fact, you know, models that we are familiar with. This car do looks like Porsche. Do you know why? Because Porsche is also under the Volkswagen group. Another Konichiwa brand, this time it really brings me back to Tokyo. Okay, just take a look at this Tokyo station. Mount Fuji. Alright, so this car, Suzuki. What car is this? Suzuki S Cross. Okay, in fact, uh, some of you might find that this looks familiar to the Toyota Corolla Cross. Um, sure, there are similarities to it. Okay, of course, the dashboard looks different. Okay, uh, this is something still very familiar with us, uh, quite basic. Okay, nothing really futuristic. Now I'm at Volvo and Polestar, okay? So Volvo, they have a new car called EX30. I've been seeing it on Facebook ads. Okay, this is uh, an EV car. Okay, a very small, cute little looking EV car by Volvo. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Okay, the handles are not flush. Okay, so it's like the usual traditional car. So in interior feels very simple. Um, oh, I like the sunroof. Okay, something unique about Volvo and Polestar is this: they are, you know, their screen right here in portrait mode. Buttons. Okay. Yeah, very simple, but not spacious at all at the back. All right. I mean, apart from this new car, they have a lot of other models. As well, like C40, XC60, um, XC40. Uh, this comes in an electric version now as well. And it's already this car less than. Okay, uh, as seen in, in many Korean dramas, you know, the S90, XC90, V60. I mean, if you watch Korean drama, you have seen all these cars before already. Alright, then we have the Polestar, which is under the Volvo brand. Okay, um, 
they are Polestar is a EV brand. Okay, so what you get from Polestar is all electric vehicles. Uh, as you can see from the interior, it's very similar to the Volvo EX30. All right, anyway, it's from the same company. Yep. So if you want that reliability, that you know, if you get in an accident, you can feel safe, kind of electric cars, then uh, yeah, do check out Volvo or Polestar. Apart from cars, they also have EV trucks. Okay, EV trucks by this brand called Fairizon. Actually, looks not bad. Quite nice, right? Oh, quite futuristic, actually. 